Hey, welcome back to Art on a Budget. Thank you for joining me today. I'd like to remind you to please hit the like and subscribe videos if you found these videos helpful so that I can continue to make videos on how to paint. Uh, we have been working on the seascape series, so we've painted clouds together, waves together, we painted a beach scene together. And I found this wonderful painting by Frederick Judd Law, and I thought we could use it for inspiration. You see the rocks on the shore and the waves coming in and splashing on the rocks. You can see that uh, the rocks are uh, worn from the waves crashing on them over time. and. Um, What's great to create um, this look is the palette knife. So we'll be using the palette knife today. We'll be using the fan brush, the filbert, and the flathead. The colors that we'll be using are titanium white, cadmium yellow, azul blue, fallow blue, raw sienna, burnt umber, and ivory black. I've taken the liberty of painting ahead as uh, one of the objectives of this uh, painting course is to save time uh, so that our videos don't get to be too long. So we have a cloudy day on the ocean and we have our clouds in the sky, dark sky, and also uh, here is our water. We'll put our rock over here and some of the things we need to think about when we paint is where our light source is. And on this one, it's a little difficult to tell, uh, but the light source is coming from over here. So it will be hitting our rock here. So as we paint uh, the ocean and the rock, we want to think about what color will the rock be when the sun is hitting it? And what color will the shadow side be? and where will this light source hit our water at. So we want to make a little bit of light uh, dancing on the waves, uh, but also we need to keep in mind that it is an overcast day. So, you know, there's not going to be a tremendous amount of light um, visible. Okay, I've made an outline of where our Rocks will be, um, they won't come all the way to the end of our picture, they'll, uh, because we'll have some pounding surf coming in around the rocks. And I've mixed this uh, color that I'm using now with thallow blue, cadmium yellow, raw sienna, a little bit of white. You know, you don't have to follow that exact mixture, just we primarily want a lighter brown color for the front where the sun hits, and we want the darker side on the shadow. So that's what we're establishing right now, just the uh, light side and the shadow side. And then we're going to come back with our palette knife and make some cool effects with the uh, texture for the rocks. Okay, so this is going to be the back sat uh, shadow side.
I'm using two different brushes, um, one for the darks and one for the lights, which, which will help. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of the dark color now and mix it with the lighter color to come in up with a in-between color. So we have more of a transition from large, uh, lighter to darker. It helps to, you know, always keep in mind, you know, what's going on in your picture. You know, we're going to have those crashing waves coming in, and they're going to be crashing on the bottom here, and they're going to be coming up here, uh, and the light is from here, so we're going to have catch some. Uh, little glimpses of light on the rock in this area uh, wherever there's projections. Okay, I think it'd be good to grab a liner brush now and kind of make some of those crevices in the rock. We could even say that our rock has a Big crack in it there. We have a lot of uh, rock walls in the area that I live in in Branson, and it's fun to see the different colors in the layers. And. I know that to a geologist that it would be very significant that there would be, um, they would understand the meaning of each of those different layers. But I just uh, think that they are pretty. We want to keep in mind the story of this rock as well. And the story being that it has been sitting here for a very long time and it's been being battered by the waves. And so we have erosion on this rock um, and it's going to have smooth edges okay I have my palette knife and I've taken some of the lighter color that we mixed up and added a little yellow and white to it and you see that it's just on the edge of the knife 
it can be a little difficult, I think, to get used to using the knife. Um, but, you know, um, let's play around with it. If we don't have a uniform color, uh, that's best. I've got just some lighter color. I'm going to come in here with some lighter color and touch the edge of that. Okay, let's go get some of this darker color and use some of that now. Well, you can see how I have that on the palette knife. Let's see if we can get some of that in here.
All right, um, I have drawn the wave, uh, the beginning of the wave anyway, so we have a mark to know how our wave is going to behave. So it's going to arch up and hit our rock. And if we'll go back to uh, this painting by Frederick Judd Waugh, we can see the wave going up and hitting the rock. And then it's going to be swirling around the rock. So, um, you know, I'm not planning to copy his page, but just look at and see what he's done uh, to give us an idea of what to do on our painting. So I've mixed together titanium white, a touch of phthalo blue, azul blue, and a little bit of yellow. And uh, we're just going to lay some paint down here. have another mixture here with just has a little bit more um, blue in it than the other one. This is where we can take the opportunity to um, cut some waves into the rock. Uh, for instance, we could cut away some of this rock here if we wanted to, um, to just say, hey, this is what happened to this rock from getting splashed for so long. It's got areas of the rock that have been worn away.
I have my fan brush and I have titanium white. So let's come back and put the parts that we want to be the lightest white in here. And we have to, you know, decide where that lightest white is. Um, and we don't want to overdo it um, because, you know, that'll take away from the painting. So we want to apply it carefully. I'm going to take some of the um, darker blue that we had mixed up um, for this lighter area and I'm going to get the background of the ocean here with just a few uh, touches of the lighter blue. I think I'm going to get this palette knife again and pick up a little bit of the white to bring down the rock faced here. I realized that I had made my wave a little too high up, so I went back and painted the ocean um, further over, and I also painted the sky uh, further over into that wave, and I, I like the way it looks better now. It looks more realistic, I think, and we can see that the white outline here uh, gives the appearance of the edge of the rock on this side. It actually makes the uh, rock look more 3D as it's this is the furthest side and it comes around over here to the back shadow side. So I'm pleased with how this turned out.